Hi dietitians, this video is to help you prepare for the OET dietetic speaking test. I'm going to explain how to approach a speaking role play, make the most of your preparation time, demonstrate the assessment criteria in your speaking, practice the role play and learn from each role play you complete. Ready? Let's go. The dietetic speaking test requires you to role play two different situations with an interlocutor. You will always take the role of the dietitian in the conversation, while the interlocutor will take the role of your patient or a family member of the patient, for example their husband or wife, adult son or daughter, or the parent of a young patient. The two role play situations will be quite different to allow you to demonstrate a range of English expressions and functions which are typical for healthcare conversations, including reassuring, explaining, persuading and asking questions. The interlocutor as the patient or family member might also have an emotional response to their health condition, such as anxiety, frustration or sadness, which are all common emotions dietitians deal with every day and allow you to demonstrate your empathy and ability to manage the patient to make the right choices and decisions for their health. Everything that you learn while preparing for OET speaking will be immediately useful to you when starting your new healthcare role in an English speaking environment and give you the confidence to tackle any situation from giving bad news to explaining the steps of a healthcare treatment. By demonstrating flexible, accurate English and responding appropriately to the interlocutor, you will demonstrate to the assessor and regulators that you have the language required for a B grade or higher. Before each role play, you have three minutes to prepare for the conversation using the role card. Remember that you can ask the interlocutor questions during the preparation time. If there is a word you don't know the meaning of or how to pronounce, you can ask this during the preparation time and if the interlocutor knows the answer, they can tell you. Let's look at a dietetics roll card in more detail. There are three sections to the card, the setting, the background information and the list of tasks. Here are my recommendations about what you should do during your preparation time. Notice the setting of the role play. Here it is a general practice. This tells me that the situation is not urgent and I may or may not have met this patient before to discuss some routine health condition. Look through the background information to find out some details about your patient, for example their age and any adjectives which describe how they're feeling. Here I can see that my patient is 60 years old, but that there are no adjectives to describe how they are feeling. I do notice though that they have just been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, which makes it likely that they feel worried and uncertain about their health. This information is useful to think about how I am going to start the role play. Given that this is a new condition, I know I want to sound supportive for the concerns they are likely to have and that this might be their first visit to a dietitian. Check the healthcare condition the role play will be about from the background information, as well as any useful details which might relate to how the patient will respond to questions and options I suggest during the conversation. As mentioned, this patient has a new diagnosis and this conversation is about dietary changes and weight loss. Some patients are likely to be keen to make lifestyle changes following a diagnosis, while others are more reluctant, particularly if they don't feel unwell or are happy with their current lifestyle. I will need to listen carefully to what the patient tells me and be prepared for either response. Read the tasks to check what needs to be discussed in the conversation. The verbs starting each task are really important in helping me to understand what I will say and how I will say it. Confirm means to check with the patient if they are clear for the reason for their visit today. Explore means to discuss with them their current lifestyle. While find out means ask questions about the patient's diet. Give information means to tell the patient about a suitable diet for type 2 diabetics. Explain means to tell the patient the benefits of a healthy diet for diabetes 
while focusing on the importance of weight loss in diabetes management. Advise means to make suggestions about strategies the patient can follow, as well as a follow-up appointment in one month. Lastly, run through this checklist. Is there anything unexpected to the patient in what I am going to tell them? In this case, not really. The patient would be expecting this type of information if their doctor has referred them for dietary advice. Is there any medical language on the roll card I need to avoid because they won't understand it? In this case, all the language is suitable for a layperson. Which tasks do I need to spend most time on? From checking the tasks again, I can see that tasks four to six will take the most time to allow me to provide sufficient explanation and to listen to the patient's responses and answer any questions they have. I should aim to move through tasks one to three fairly quickly to allow plenty of time for these tasks. The OET speaking test is unique in that it simulates the real life conversations you have with your patients as a dietitian. It's important to remember this once the role play starts because it will help you to communicate naturally and effectively with the interlocutor as your patient. Here are a few tips to speaking clearly and demonstrating the assessment criteria. Get the role play off to a good start. You are expected to start the conversation as you would in real life. Make use of the information you picked out in the preparation time to start the role play appropriately for this situation. I know that this situation is new for this patient, so I choose to start. Hello, my name is Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me your name, please? And after the patient replies, can you tell me your understanding of our appointment today? This allows me to sound friendly while also asking the patient to explain in their words why they are there, so I can check for any misunderstanding about the purpose of the visit. This isn't the only option for starting the role play. I could be more direct and say after checking their name, I understand you've been referred for dietary advice, is that correct? But my feeling is that this patient will open up more if I use a simple open question without any mention of my knowledge for the reason of their referral. Take time to listen to the patient and respond to what they tell you. The roll card gives you a lot of information about the conversation, but you cannot know exactly what the patient will say in reply to your suggestions and advice, so make sure you are fully listening to what they tell you. Don't use this time to think about what you are going to say next, or you could miss something important. Show the patient you have listened by responding with something appropriate. For example, the patient may tell you that they have an unhealthy diet and don't do very much exercise show you have listened by commenting on what they have just said. It is very easy these days not to eat healthily and you're certainly not alone in that. I have some ideas for simple changes you can make though, which should help with your weight loss. Be authentic in your role as a dietitian. Sometimes you will need to be firm and tell the patient that what they are asking is not good health advice, or at other times you will need to clearly explain a process the patient is unfamiliar with. Do what you need to and make sure you match the tone of your voice to what you are saying. In this task, you need to provide clear information and persuade the patient to make lifestyle changes. To do this, make your voice sound kind, but use firm vocabulary choices and don't speak too fast. It will take a while to make these changes, but it is the best thing for your health and to avoid further complications. Remember that this situation is new to your patient. Many people are fortunate to have good health for most of their lives, and on the occasions they do need to seek medical support, they feel vulnerable and anxious because they do not know why they are feeling this way or how the problem might be resolved. Although you might have talked about diabetic dietary changes many times before, this is all new to the patient. Try to put yourself in the patient's shoes and think about what you would want to know about the condition if this was the first time you were discussing it. There are a number of ways you can practice the role play with a family member, a friend or a colleague. It is important that you only look at the dietitian's card before you practice so that you are only getting the same amount of information that you do in the test. If you print off the role cards, tear or fold the page in half so you only have your card or if you are looking at the task online, 
change the size of the card so you can only see your part. Ask your patient to play their role fairly. If the task says they are worried, they should use language to show this. If it says they are frustrated, then similarly they should use language to show this. OET role plays will never use extreme emotions like anger or tears, but it will help you prepare if you feel that slight pressure which comes from facing a patient who is feeling negative and trying to help them. Record the conversation on your phone so you can listen back to yourself afterwards. You can also use your phone as a timer to alert you when five minutes is complete. If you turn your phone face down in front of you, it will still be able to record while you will not be tempted to keep checking how much time is left, which is something you cannot do in the test. At the end of the role play, ask the friend or colleague who took the role of the patient how they felt during and after the conversation. Did they feel informed and supported during the conversation? Or was anything confusing, leaving them uncertain and with questions at the end? Consider this feedback and how you can improve on this for next time. Once you've practiced this role play, make sure you don't miss out on the extra ways you can use it to improve your English and prepare for OET. Here are four things you can do with any role play card to get the most value out of it. Assess your recording against the assessment criteria. The criteria are free to download from the OET website and contain both a description of the linguistic and communicative criteria you are assessed on, as well as the evidence of what the assessors are looking for to be able to score you at the different levels. Take each criterion in turn, read the evidence statement for each level and critically decide which statement is the best match for your speaking in the recording. Practice the role play again with a different partner or by changing a small variable of the role play for example by changing the patient's age or the emotion they are feeling about the situation. Think about the different language you might need to use for this role play if the patient was 45 and had a busy work life which makes it difficult to make dietary changes. Or notice the questions and responses the different partner uses when repeating the role play with somebody else. Each patient is different, so although you are using the same cards, you need to be prepared to be flexible and communicate with this individual rather than preparing a set of phrases you hope to use each time. Use the roll card as a basic outline for a writing task. Imagine you are writing to update the doctor who referred this patient to you. Use the details from the patient's card and your recording to provide a summary of what has been discussed and agreed upon and your plan to meet again in a month for a follow-up appointment. Search the internet for podcasts on type 2 diabetes or medical journal articles covering recent developments in the treatment of the condition to practice your skills for the reading and listening parts of the test. Candidates tell us that the preparation they do for the OET speaking test is immediately useful when they enter the English speaking healthcare workplace and gives them the confidence that they can speak to any patient on any topic. For more videos and speaking test strategies to help you prepare, Follow our social media channels on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram at OfficialOET and search the OET blog available on our website.